before we vote on this bill that we hone in on exactly the impact that it is going to have on the citizen-led ballot initiative process in our state. At the end of the day, we all know this. We all know that if this bill were to become law, it will make it substantially more difficult for citizen-led petitions to change the Constitution to make it on the ballot. That's why we have this bill, because that's the intention, to make it harder. The unfairness of it all is important to underscore. What do I mean by unfairness? Well, I think it's patently unfair to change the rules for those who are playing by them right now, as we speak, collecting signatures for ballot initiatives in 2020, right in the middle of the game, moving the goalpost. You have several citizen-led constitutional amendments that are underway that would be impacted by this. Why didn't we make the enacting date for this bill after 2020? so that these folks who are working hard and playing by the rules to have an important issue addressed by the state don't feel like they're being attacked and having the rug pulled out from underneath them. The other problem I have with this bill is that it is an obvious double standard. Do as I say, not as I do. Folks were talking about, you know, th this is not a problem. This is going to be so easy. You know, these requirements are not a big deal. You know, everyone can do this. This is not a big deal. Okay. Well, if it's not a big deal, why are we not requiring candidates for the Florida legislature to have all of their volunteers who are collecting candidate qualifying petitions to register with the state or county? Well, because that would be really hard now, wouldn't it? That's the point. We know it's going to be very hard. Why aren't we asking candidates for the Florida legislature if we want to be transparent and we want to add a disclaimer so that voters really understand what they're voting for? Why don't we put a disclaimer underneath our name on the ballot that discloses what percentage of our campaign contributions came from outside of our district? as this bill is requiring we do for constitutional amendments. There's a reason we're not doing that, members. It's because we want to create a different set of rules for citizens than we want to follow for ourselves. Why are ballot initiatives so important in the state of Florida and so sacred? And why are we taking this bill so seriously? Well, it's because many voters and many residents of our state believe that a citizen-led ballot initiative is the only remaining tool in their toolbox to address the major issues in this state because the legislature refuses to do so. This bill addresses the wrong problem. The problem is not the number of ballot initiatives, okay? There might be any number of them, whether they be from us or from the Constitution Revision Commission or from citizen-led petitions. The problem is certainly not Russia. I'm still trying to figure out exactly what Russia has anything to do with any of the citizen-led ballot initiatives in our state, so I'll just move on from that. The problem isn't that we as a legislature are just too tied up with implementing vague citizen-led constitutional amendments that passed and now we gotta scramble to figure out exactly what language we need to implement it. That's not the problem. The problem is that all of these issues, medical cannabis, fair districts, funding 
for water quality and land acquisition and the environment. Rights restoration. Banning assault weapons. Raising the minimum wage. Expanding Medicaid. Legalizing cannabis for adult use. All of these critical, critical issues have been completely ignored by this legislature. And therefore, the citizens and residents of our state feel very strongly that they have no choice but to engage in a citizen-led ballot initiative. It's not because that's what they want to do. It's because they realize and they understand from years of experience of coming up here to this building and getting involved in this process is the best way to have any of the critical issues that I just mentioned, the best way to have that addressed is not to work with the legislature, it's to work around the legislature. So this is a problem that we have created by our inaction. The solution is not this bill. The solution is to hear our bills. The solution is to listen to the people when they tell you that we desperately need to expand Medicaid in the state of Florida. Will you please help us and listen to us? The solution is that we have to listen to the people when they say our sons and daughters and brothers and sisters and moms and dads are being killed in nightclubs and in schools and on the streets every single day by assault weapons. We need you to deal with this. The solution is action. Don't try to silence the voice of the people. We need to lift them up. We need to listen to them. And we need to respect our democracy. Please vote no on this bill. Further debate. Representative Caruso in debate. 